Hey, gorgeous superstar, this is your host, Ingrid Elver. We're born celebrity TV. I have a very action-packed show today, and it's going to be a little different. First, I'm going to talk about a celebrity persona, how he's actually the self-help guru who was taking on the world, being on Oprah and Larry King and, and all these different things, and he's now this month being sentenced for something really terrible and um, in celebrity exposure I'm gonna be interviewing live a millionaire from shine the conference I went to and you're not gonna want to miss this because she's gonna be sharing really unusual secrets how she became a millionaire and in celebrity ego I want to help you take this deep breath and really connect with your inner power and how you can use that for your business and um, Finally, ask Ingrid, hey, I'm going to be talking about image and why image is so important for your business. So I'm going to be answering this very special question. So this show is like no other. So hold on to your seats. Get ready to have your business take off onto another level and learn the secrets of A-list celebrities in Hollywood. So let's get started. persona I want to talk about this crazy self-help guru that you can learn so many things from that what not to do in your business now I don't know that he comes from an inauthentic place or that he really understood what he did but he has this grandiose um, sort of mindset which you know I always talk about you need to have a bit of grandiose uh, mindset where you really think big and um, you know that's a good thing but I think he took it a little too far so he was on top of the world his company's making over 10 million a year he wanted to become the first billionaire self-help guru he was on Larry King live Oprah and he was in this little movie called the secret and that's what made him famous. So who am I talking about? James Arthur Rice. He used these weird strategies like sleep deprivation, making his attendees cut their hair, putting their um, hearts or solar plexus to a spare, and the sleep deprived them, didn't feed them, take them out to a desert for 36 hours, and then the next morning feed them a huge breakfast, and then send them into a sweat lodge. And that's where the horrible things went wrong. Now, he really was known for being being a bit strong, really having a lot of rules and telling people what to do. And that's sort of disastrous when it comes to these retreats. You can't be, as a leader, you can't be way too out there because what happens is people will follow you. And if you don't know what you're doing, horrible thing can happen. And that's exactly what happened in Sedona, Arizona, where his 56 attendees were in the sweat lodge for all these hours and they were screaming and he wouldn't let them out. Out. and after I don't know how many hours and um, 19 of them was hospitalized and three of them died and today this month he's actually been sentenced for this because he just didn't know what he was doing so my secret for you you are wondering where I'm going with this right well learn not to be too extreme in your business understand that you as a leader as a guru of your industry or as a celebrity of industry you're very powerful and you got to be really careful of how far you go I have seen this throughout the years I've been doing this work for 22 years so I've actually seen people gone too far at conferences or retreats where I've had to help them try to find their balance and sense of, of, of of their self again because a lot of times some of these people are very fragile who follow you so be kind of in the middle don't be too extreme that's my secret for you and James author Ray hmm you know maybe you went a little too far but um, I hope that you know you will really have the realization and really change what you did because 
as horrible this is, I don't think that you had any sort of intent of killing anybody. But, you know, we got to really pay attention to what we're doing and how far we're pushing people. So, my gorgeous superstar, that's my secret for you today. Don't be too extreme. Be right in the middle. You can be bold and outrageous. Just, just don't, you know, make people sleep deprived and, you know, push them over the edge. <laughs> um, that's my secret for you today. So celebrity exposure, I'm actually doing a really incredible interview with this very special millionaire. And you know what's so fun about her is that she ran up to me at the Shine uh, event, which is a conference, which is 500 women full of entrepreneurs. And she told me, I just adore your born celebrity TV show. So it's an honor to have her here. So watch this footage that I shot at Shine. Hey gorgeous superstars, I am at Shine Event and I want to talk about celebrity exposure and I have a very special guest today. She's one of those celebrities of her niche industry that is very, very unusual. So if you ever talk about that you can't become a celebrity in whatever you do, she's going to change all of that for you. The other thing that I love about her is she's so authentic, a little quirky in such a good way that you are going to just adore her. So let me introduce Beth Davis and here she is. Hey gorgeous, I'm so excited to have you here. Yeah. Oh, great to be here. Yeah. yeah, and tell me a little bit about yeah, tell me a little bit more how you got started and what you do. Well, the thing is, I had um, been working in direct sales and marketing and was very frustrated. And a friend of mine said, you should get a palm reading. And I said, you're crazy. But she kept persisting. I finally did it. I had this hand analysis session with scientific palmistry. And it was revealed to me that my life purpose was to have a successful business, uh, inspiring people to live their passion and live their own purpose and, and really bring them to an awareness of their own perfection and spiritual connection. And that's what I'm able to do now with my own business. So, so you guys heard it. She's a hand analyst and you become a millionaire being one, right? Yes. Yeah, I have a seven figure business. I have uh, three full time employees, uh, six regular vendors that we work with almost every day. Uh, and uh, we're now up to about three or 400 affiliates, I believe, that uh, promote our products and services. We've got, um, you know, tens of thousands of fans on social media. It just, it just keeps growing. And my goal is to bring the Your Purpose message to uh, a million people in the next two years. Wow. Well, another thing is that you're probably the highest charging hand analyst I've ever heard, where you <laughs> charge 1500 per session. And so many people will say, well, I can't charge that. What gives you that courage? And yeah, I know you don't do much of this anymore, but still, what gave you the courage to step into this place of charging more? Oh, well, a number of different things. When I first started out, I was $100 a session, and then I would steadily increase my rates, both with my confidence and my skill set improving. The other thing I have found is that at the higher dollar value, you attract a much, much better client or customer. Uh, when it's a service that you're delivering, uh, especially a customized one-on-one -on -one service, which is what people receive when they work with me by phone and I do the reading for them. Uh, so that, that awareness has helped me to weed out the people that are not my ideal clients, that aren't the people who are really going to take this information and run with it. And I really want to share this with people that are going to live their purpose, that are going to do something with the information. I'm not interested in giving away free readings or low-cost readings to people that are tire kickers that really have no intention of changing. People say they want change, but the more majority of people aren't going to do anything. Well, she just gave you an important secret, but I wanted to ask you, you know, we t right now it's about celebrity exposure, right? What's your secret to exposure that really pushed your business to the next level? Do you have anything to share with us? Yeah. Uh, the first thing is go to live events and connect with a lot of people. We're at the Shine event. Uh, you know, r reach out to the people you feel drawn to, who you feel you could do business with, and you can provide help to. So I, if I know I can help someone, I go right up to them. I say, listen, I was listening to your share at the microphone, or I went to your presentation. I have this really great idea for you. Maybe you could offer this product, or maybe you could offer it to these people. What do you think of that? And they're like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Thank you. Can I get your card? That's not why I do it. I do it because I want to give. So always give first. 
also reach out to the people that you want to do business with. I say, you know, I'd really love to talk about a joint venture with you or would you be interested in being an affiliate? I think your customer list is a good match for what I offer and I get 50% commission on what I sell. Uh, could we could we work on this? And people are like, yeah, let's talk. So live events are an amazing way to create an instant personal relationship. It takes many more uh, tries online. Eight to nine touches usually before most people will buy. It may have sped up with the use of videos and so forth because there's more instant credibility. But I would recommend that. The other thing I would definitely, definitely recommend is get yourself everywhere in front of people where it's appropriate. In the media, online, um, uh, direct mail, any way you can to your target list, to your your um, customers that are ideal. You don't want to just blanket everything. You want to really uh, target the ideal customer and then get your face and voice and information in front of those people. And if you can do it in a quirky, entertaining, kind of out there way, like I love your show, Ingrid. It's funny, it's crazy, you throw in wild graphics, you say outrageous things that you back up with facts. I mean, you just have a wonderful show, and I'm addicted to following it. And I, I'm entertained, and then after I'm hooked by the entertainment, you deliver really solid information. So I think what you're doing, it's just great for people to follow you, and I would recommend to people, use social media, use the, the regular large media to get out in front of those correct people, and hire a mentor who knows what they're doing. Right? I come to these conferences year after year and people say, well, you're here and you're sitting and you're taking notes. I'm like, I never want to stop learning. You wonder why I'm successful in my business? It's because I'm always a student. I'm always a student. Well, I, it's funny because today I was in a session that I, I wasn't realized what was going on today at Shine. <laughs> and I ended up somewhere where I thought, there's part of my mind said, well, I don't need this. And then I thought, you know what? No, I need to stay open and learn. And that's the big secret yeah. too. So, all right, so you're so quirky. So this is what you do. Yeah, I look at so so you I look at hands. Yeah, so you're a gifted problem solver. You're here to solve a big world scale problem for people. You're extremely independent. Your personal freedom is everything. So you need to have your own business because you are you are not going to take anyone else's command but your own. You, no one's the boss of you. And your hands are very long and delicate, meaning that you're empathic and intuitive, highly sensitive, very, very loving. It's very important for you to feel spiritually connected. Uh, love is one of your top values, you know, feeling connected to the people in your personal life, but also with your customers and clients. You, you wanna, want them to know that you really do genuinely care about them. You want to hear their story. You want to connect with them. And then you want to take a break and be left alone. <laughs> so you guys, I mean, don't you want to know more about you? I mean, Beth is like, I, I just adore you in every way because A, it's you do something so unusual and made that into a seven-figure business, which is so unheard of. I love that yeah, part of your success, figures. right? Our way to eight figures. In okay, months, isn't so that incredible? Yeah. So you guys got to really that whoever you are, you can become a celebrity in your industry yeah. niche. I don't care what you do. You just have to have the courage. So thank you, my superstar. Oh, What's an honor? I really adore you. Oh, my <laughs> And you gorgeous ones, so thank you so much. And the celebrity exposure secret was to really go to a lot of events and really be you. I think that that's the part of connecting authentically with everybody and think of how you can actually help every, everyone that you meet. And that was a real secret. And then, of course, having a hand reading is really fun. So thank you so much, Beth. And you guys, you shine from your heart and your power. Celebrity Ego, how to actually make you walk and talk like a celebrity. Now, when it comes to mindset, it really is about this amazing confidence in who you are. And a secret, a celebrity secret, is actually to exaggerate your body and your voice a little bit when you speak to people. Now, I'm not talking about being inauthentic. I'm just talking carrying that voice a little bit more. So you move a little bit more. Actually, what it does, it comes off as a confident. And if you do it correctly, you really, really become memorable to your customer and clients and people you meet. So that's my secret for you today. Announce yourself a little bit better so you can stand out from everybody else.